Aloha, aloha, and welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome to 40 Days of Prayer for our Prodigals. 40 Days of Prayer for our Prodigals. I am your host, Mary Elam. Welcome and come on in. Welcome and come on in to everyone. Welcome and come on in. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. I'm going to be thankful unto him and bless his name. Glory to God. Glory to God. He is so amazing and good. Y'all come on in and while you're coming in, let me go ahead and share on my on my uh on my other page. Y'all come in, make sure that you tag some people share like if you're on youtube hit that subscribe button or that notification bell so that you'll know when i go live come on in you guys have really just been amazing yesterday we had oh wow so many people on the live but the thing was yesterday the replay was off the chain i was like okay all right people of uh, this is on the heart of god this is on the heart of God. And yesterday really showed me just how much people are desperate to see their loved ones come to Jesus. And so I am so excited for each of you because you decided to push through, you decided to push in, you decided to press, and you decided to pray. Pray and seek the face of God on behalf of your loved ones. So again, come on in like and share the broadcast like and share we're going to get into it um after i share on my page glory to god it's you know i'm just excited <laughs> i'm excited because i know that this is going to be amazing um for so many people yesterday i was actually in um one of my mentoring groups um that i belong to and god really um the leader was asking for us to give a corporate word. Good morning. Good morning, Christina. The leader was asking for us to give a corporate word. And all I heard was the prodigals are on the heart of God. Families are on the heart of God. And so I just wanted to share with you that, you know, God is not slack concerning his promises. What he spoke it, it will come to pass. You know, many of us are like, Lord, I've been waiting for so long to see the manifestation of your promise. But guess what? While you're waiting, are you worshiping? Good morning, Andrea. Good morning. While you're waiting, are you serving? While you're waiting, come on, come on, y'all, listen. While you're waiting, what are you doing? God is building things inside of you. He's making you stronger in your faith. Um, you are being stretched. You are being encouraged. Um, you are, uh, most of you are, uh, uh, are um, how do I put it? You're locking arms with other believers so that you can be an encouragement to them. And God is saying, not just that you pray for your specific prodigal, that you pray for others. This is the assignment that's on the heart of God. So again, as I was stating early yesterday, when I was in my other mentoring group, um, the, the leader asked for us to give a corporate word. And all that I heard from the father is that, that the prodigals and families are on the heart of God in this season. And he wants them to come home. Not only did I have that word, but others had that word. And the, the thing it was is the leader had also just given that word to her church, to her church. And so, you know, God is really speaking. We are um, um, coming together and being unified to, to build each other up so that we can endure as we pray and intercede on behalf of our prodigal sons and daughters and spouses. We are coming together. We are coming together in what agreement? We're coming together in agreement to pray. Our topic for today is we are praying for the heart of the prodigal. You know what's so funny, y'all? I'm going to be honest with you. What's so funny is yesterday um god had i had i had lined everything up the way holy spirit had, had me line it up but you know the, the spirit of the lord will flip stuff on you he will flip on you because yesterday we were supposed to talk about the heart <laughs> but the holy spirit wanted us to deal with that mind 
he had us dealing with the mind on for a reason because the mind is where the enemy tries his best to destroy, to distract, to cause confusion, double mindedness and all these different things. So yesterday we were supposed to talk about the heart. We were supposed to pray a reference to the heart, but the Holy Spirit flipped it on me and we talked about the mind. Good morning, Jan. So today we're gonna to talk about the heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning, Arista. All the way from South Africa. Y'all, we are, we are, we are really, really pressing in. Good morning, Donna. Y'all come on in. I'm just so excited because this is this is where we get we get our strength from when we come together unified. So we're gonna pray and we're going to uh, we're gonna um, do I'm gonna do a little teaching on the heart. Um, I want you to first of all go to our first scripture, which is gonna be Psalms 34 and 18. Psalms 34 and 18, and we're going to read it from the ESV version. So the ESV version of Psalms 34 and 18, blessings, blessings as everyone comes in, blessings. It says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. He is close. <clears throat> to the hearts of not only your prodigal, but close to you because your heart has been broken. They Sometimes they don't even realize that their heart is broken. They're trying to fill the brokenness with various things, riotous living. That's why we they're called prodigals. That's why that terminology, it means they're filling themselves with things that are not of God, riotous living, whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever that addiction may be. It could be food, it could be drugs, it could be alcohol, it could be sex, it could be all these different things. They're filling their heart because it's broken and really they don't know how to fix it. Sometimes they don't even know what needs to be fixed. They just know that they're feeling empty. But God is saying today, I am right there with them. I am right there with them. Um, they're crushed in spirit and, and they're looking and searching for something to satisfy. Unfortunately, what they're looking and searching for is not fulfilling. It'll only be fulfilled for a season. How many of you know that sin only feels good for a season? Again, we talked about yesterday how the tormentor will trick you and cause you to be tormented by the very thing that he tricked you into doing. Y'all, come on, somebody. Give me some hearts on this, because guess what? We already know that we are fighting from victory. We are victorious for our prodigals because we come against every spirit that tries to break their spirit. We come against every spirit. Come on, somebody that tries to break that spirit break their spirit, break their heart, crush their heart. We bind every spirit that wants to crush their heart and crush their spirit. Yes, only good for a season, but we know that God is greater. Hallelujah. Our second scripture, glory to God, is coming from Proverbs, very familiar scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Again, reading from the ESV version. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. He will make their path straight. This is what we're decreeing today, that they trust in the Lord with all their heart and they lean not to their own understanding. In other words, again, that mind, what I believe and what I see is not the truth. We are speaking the truth over our prodigals. We are speaking that they receive the truth of God's word, that they understand what is the truth and what is the lie. And we are pulling those roots out of their heart. We're pulling those roots out of their heart. We're pulling out um, the lies. We're pulling out um, the hurt. We're pulling out the bitterness, the unforgiveness, the anger, the lust, uh, all of those things. We are uprooting them. How? With the word of God. And for those of you who don't know, um, the, um, uh, part of what I'm talking about is in my newest book, Uprooted, where we're moving the bondages and hindrances with the word. So I'm just telling you right now, when you want to uproot something, you got to go deep in it with the word of God. You just can't pity pat with the enemy because he is not afraid of anything but the word. He's not afraid of your tears. He's not afraid of anything but the word. And the only way that we are able to change the heart of the king is through our prayer and through our intercession for our prodigal. 
as we worship God, when he sees that we're praying in faith, when he sees that we're moving in faith, guess what? The heart begins to change. The mind begins to change. Their heart becomes alive. I made a post a little while ago that when God begins to pull back those layers, when he begins to pull back those layers of pain, years, many of us don't even realize that a lot of the things that's going on with our prodigals is coming from years of pain, years of, of, of things that happened in their childhood that happened uh, many years ago, and they just covered it up. It's been covered up layer upon layer of hurt, layer upon layer of rejection, layer upon layer of abandonment, layer upon layer of, 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 of molestation and rape and all these different things. But God is saying for each and every one of us that those things can be uprooted with the word. They can be uprooted. And, the, and once that heart begins to heal, guess what? Then they will be begin to feel and then they'll be able to deal with their issues. You cannot deal with a heart that is hard. I'm going to say it again. You cannot deal with a heart that is hard. That heart has to be softened and we soften that heart through prayer and in a session, through the word of God. We're decreeing over them. We're declaring over them. And yes, we will have those decrees. I'll post them right after. But God is saying today that you are trying to, to change something with just um, um, your feelings and, and, and your words. But guess what? That won't move. That will not move the prodigal. What will move the prodigal? The word of God through your prayers, through your prayers, not you bombarding their 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 uh, uh, their inbox with scriptures and things of that nature. No, you get in your secret place. You get in your secret place. You get in your secret place. If that secret place is your car, if that secret place is your prayer closet. If some of us, your secret place can be at our kitchen sink. Some of our secret place in the bathroom. Go to your secret place. Close the door and begin to cry out begin to cry out, begin to cry out on behalf of the heart of your prodigal. And guess what? The scripture declares that when you pray for that heart, God will take that heart of stone and turn it into a heart of flesh. Only when that heart is a heart of flesh can the, can the Lord work with it. Mm. The Lord is working on your behalf. But um, I'm going to give you guys uh, something. I had a vision many, many years ago. God showed me a vision hallelujah, of, of, of a tree, right? And he showed me a vision of a tree and he showed me uh, uh, someone with an ax and they were chopping with that tree and they chopped that tree. They were chopping that tree. They were chopping at that tree. They were chopping, they were chopping, right? They chopped at that tree. And what God was speaking to me, he says, Mary, your prayers are like that ax. You got to take that. I mean, that's actually scripture. Lord, I thank you. You got to take that ax to that tree, to that stubbornness, to that unforgiveness, to that abandonment, to that rejection, to all of those things that our prodigal is dealing with. You got to take an ax to the root of those lustful desires, those that pornography, the, all those things to that to that years of, of frustration and anguish and fear fear and shame and guilt and condemnation, take an ax to it. And you take that ax to your prayers, to the word, praying and interceding on behalf of our prophet. And guess what happens? They begin, that tree will eventually fall. That tree will eventually fall. When you take an ax to it, you can't stop until you see that tree fall. I'm not going to stop till I see that tree fall. How many of you are going to stop? How many of you are going to quit? How many of you are going to throw in the towel? No, we don't quit. We don't stop until we see that tree fall. Hallelujah. We don't quit until we see that tree fall, till we see the manifestation of the promise. Come on, Stacy. Take an ax to the root of it. You take an ax to the root of it and you uproot all of those issues with the word. Praise God. We're going to go right now to prayer. Hallelujah. Praying for the heart, for the heart that God will begin to soften, that God will begin to uh, uh, mold and shape and, 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 and reform and transform their heart. So God, we just come before you and we give you praise. God, we give you glory. We give you honor, Father. We glorify your name because you're so good, Father. Lord God, we will not quit. We will not stop, Lord God, until we see 
the manifestation of your promise. God, we know that our that our, many of our prodigals, their heart is so hardened, Father. It's hardened because of disappointments. It's hardened because of different situations and circumstances. But God, we know that you're able to do the exceedingly abundantly. You'll be able to go to the root of those issues, Father. Lord God, we don't want to just dig the surface. We just don't want to dig the surface, but we want to go deeper. We want to go deeper. Lord, we ask Holy Spirit to show us what is the root of those situations? What is the root of those problems in the heart? God, is it fear? Is it shame? Is it anger? Is it frustration? Whatever that root may be, God. God, we want to get to the root. Is it pride? Is it arrogance? Whatever the root, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we repent, oh God. We come to repent, Father. Lord God, for not trusting you with our prodigal. We come to repent, Father, and we ask, Lord God, Lord God, that you would give us the words to speak, that you would open our mouths and begin to fill it, fill it with joy, fill it with peace, fill it with love. As we come before your throne, and will show as we come before your throne, seeking your face, seeking your face, seeking your face, wanting more of you, Lord God, Lord God, not just for for our satisfaction, Father God, because we want the soul, we want the heart to be saved, we want the heart to be transformed, we want the heart to be made new. Hi, yeah, Lord God, you said that you are doing a new thing, and we can perceive it. You are doing a new thing. You are bringing water into the desert. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you. We magnify you as you pull out that fear, as you pull out that rejection. They are not rejection, but they are royalty. They are royal priesthood, a holy nation. They are chosen generation. They're redeemed by the blood of the lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They walk in peace. They walk in victory. They walk, they walk every feet that they're, uh, everywhere their feet, mm, hallelujah, everywhere that their feet would tread, hallelujah, everywhere that their feet would go, Lord God, you're, they're walking in victory, hallelujah, Lord God, you are dressing them in the full armor of you, Lord God, they put on those shoes of peace because they're walking in peace, why, because their heart is being transformed, no longer are they being tormented, no longer are they being tormented, no more shame, no more guilt, no more condemnation, nation. Oh God, you're giving that peace that surpasses all understanding to guard their heart and their mind through Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Lord, they're lifting their hands in surrenderance, Lord God. No more fighting. No more battling. Lord, they're lifting their hands in surrenderance to you, Lord God. They try to do things their own way. Lord God, but you're moving Oh God, you're moving. You're moving over their heart. Lord, apply the blood. Mm. Apply the blood of Jesus to their heart, God. Apply the blood, the cleansing blood, the saving blood, the washing blood, the purifying blood to the heart of Jesus, to the heart of the prodigal. Lord, let their heart be transformed even now. Glory to God. Even now, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. He is our Jehovah Gabor. He is fighting for us. He is our Jehovah Nisi. He lifts that banner high. He lets the, he lets the enemy know that we are already winners. Your prodigal is already won. They've already won. They've already won. Say it today. They have already won. God gets the victory. God gets the victory. No longer bound to the slave mentality. No longer bound in their hearts to sin and recklessness. No, we decree and declare that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Glory to God. Mm. Shedabasi. Shedabakanayabosso. Mm. And I see that overflow.
Hallelujah, I see an overflow. Hallelujah, I see an overflow. I see an overflow, an overflow, Lord Jesus. Overflow their hearts, Lord God, with your presence. Overflow them with encounter. Huh? Overflow them with encounter. Hallelujah, overflow them with encounter. No other help they know. Overflow them with encounter. Oh God, the presence of the Most High God is overflowing them. Them, huh? Even where they are right now, where they're in a drug den right now, where they're sitting in the meth house, huh? where they're sitting in the bar, huh? where they're laying in the bed with the other woman, other man, huh? wherever they are, huh? the spirit of the Lord huh? is encountering them. Hallelujah. The spirit of the living God huh? is encountering them. Oh God, we praise you. We give you praise in advance. Huh? God, we want to worship you today. We want to worship you today. Huh? Why? Because you're cutting up the root. You're pulling out the root. You're taking an axe to the root. Go in that heart and removing every transgression, every iniquity, every iniquity. Those things that have been hidden for years. Listen. Y'all, I am 53 years old, soon to be 54. I didn't get the way I am just overnight. It take time to remove some of those things. It take time to remove some of those things. Some of the prodigals are dealing with stuff that, that, that would actually kill somebody. There's a shotanaye. I come against suicide. I come against the spirit of suicide. I come against that spirit of rejection. I come against that spirit of oppression in the mind, in the name of Jesus, we crush it today. Hallelujah. We release the peace of God. We release the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is their strength. They are filled with the joy of the Lord. They come, they, they walk in joy. They walk in victory. They walk in peace. They walk in victory today. They walk in victory today. No longer bound. No longer bound. No longer distracted. Hallelujah. 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 Freedom is their portion. Freedom Freedom is their portion. Freedom is their portion. Glory to God. Yes, God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fill their cups, Lord. Fill their cups, Lord. Hallelujah. As they dwell, Lord, we speak today that they go to the secret place. Hallelujah. And you encounter them in the secret place that they hunger and thirst for the word of God. It is the only thing that will satisfy. It is the only thing that will satisfy that hunger. It's the only thing that will satisfy the longing. Lord, wrap your arms around them like a warm blanket. Hey, Yabasai. Wrap your arms around them like a warm blanket, God. Cover them in the love of Jesus. Cover them in the love of Jesus. Cover them in the love of Jesus. Hallelujah. Many of them don't even know that they're loved. Many of them don't even know that they can come home. Many of them don't even know. Have you told them lately that they can come home? That the door is always open. It's where they're welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, God. They're welcome. They're welcome. They're welcome. Come home. Hallelujah. Mm, they are welcome at your table. Guess what? God has prepared a table before them in the presence of their enemies. Do you know who their enemies are? Their enemies are the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. That's their enemies. God is saying, I am preparing a table before. Hey, I am preparing a table before them in the presence of their enemies. Their cup is going to overflow with joy and blessings. Oh, yes, God. 
They're having beautiful encounters with the Lord even now. God is speaking, hallelujah. God is speaking. They're gonna dwell in the presence of God. He's wrapping his arms around them, hallelujah, and comforting them. They're, he's binding up their broken hearts. Oh, they're crushed in spirit, but he's by and I'm also, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the presence of God dwell with you even now. Even now where you may be weak and weary, hallelujah. Lord, I speak strength over each of you on this call right now, on this live. Those who are YouTube and Facebook and those who may watch the replay, I speak strength over you. I speak strength over you. I speak joy over you. I speak that you would worship the Lord even in your pain. I Worship the Lord. Praise God because it's already won. You got to know that it's already done. It's done and one. It is one and done. You are one. You are the winner. Hallelujah. You have won. Hallelujah. They have won because they are victorious in Jesus. Hallelujah. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, God says they've already won. Hallelujah, he's going after them because you won't stop and you won't quit. If you have not shared the broadcast, please do so. If you have not shared this broadcast, please do so. Tag someone you know that needs to be encouraged to know that their prodigal has already won the victory. You know somebody, everybody on here knows somebody that's praying for a loved one. Everyone on here knows somebody. Tag that person, tag them so that they will, that we can get encouraged. We need encouragement. You need encouragement. Everyone needs to be, to know that God is fighting on their behalf. Some of them want to quit. Some of them have already quit. Some of them have even uh, 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 left their stand because they don't see any hope. They've given up, they've thrown in the towel, but God is saying, no, not so. I'm still here. I'm still fighting, will you? Mm. I'm still battling, will you? Glory to God. Thank you, Alicia. I'm still battling, will you? Hallelujah. Don't give up the fight. Stay in the race. Be encouraged and know that God is fighting for us, fighting for your prodigals, fighting for you. He won't quit. He won't stop. He's never going to give up because we are victorious. God bless you. There's no backlash or retaliation on this prayer. It is sealed with the blood of Jesus. If anyone that watches this live or watches the replay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray right now that if you don't know Jesus, hallelujah, you can know the Father. I'm going to pray with you right now. Say, Father, I forgive, I, I repent of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and make me your own. Make me your, I am your, I want you to be my Lord and Savior. I want Jesus to be my Lord and savior if you pray that prayer you are now saved you are now filled we bless you and we praise you join us tomorrow as we continue to pray for the prodigal as we continue to pray for the prodigal tomorrow's day three tomorrow's day three i will see you back here at the same time blessings to everyone we love you and aloha